Okay, so we're moving on to the stocks now. And the stocks are going to be, um, you grow to about 45 centimetres high and they are used for the spires in our flowers. So I'll teach you about different types of flowers that we're going to be using in our bouquets in a different video. But these are going to be some of our spires. Now what's, um, you can grow these at different times of the year. So when you look at my, when you look on the shop at the stocks, um, product what you see in the, in the store you'll see there's different times of year that you can grow these and different things that happen with them so we can sow these now June July time when I've sown them as I normally would um, so I've sown a line here I've, I've got a bit more free and liberal with my sprinkling uh, so I think I can always prick them out um, I'm going to get some vermiculite and I'm just going to put it over the top of those seeds there because yeah, they like the light, they need the light in order to be able to grow. And so the vermiculite just kind of holds them in place, gives them a light covering so that if they do get any water on them or anything, they don't get washed away. Um, it just helps them grow, but it, it allows the light through. So we grow them with a bit of vermiculite. If you've got that, if you haven't, just sprinkle them on the surface, right? Because they need light, otherwise they won't germinate. Now these we're going to put into the greenhouse. And if we leave them in the greenhouse, we, we're going to get some flowers, hopefully from them, this autumn they'll be late flowering uh right into late into the season and if we can keep them in a greenhouse we should get some flowers this summer but what we're also going to do make a note to yourself in your diary is we can sow these again in september and they'll behave like biennials where they stay in the greenhouse um, and then they will flower in the greenhouse just leave them in there the whole time and they will flower in there in um, early spring okay and then you can plant them again in sort of I think it's about February time so that they will flower in the summer out in the garden so these are a great one to make sure that you've got like a one of those little um, up against the wall greenhouses that you can get for like 20 30 quid or a slightly bigger one that you know I've got one on my gardening kit page that was like 50 quid make sure you stick it down firmly because they do blow over um, as some of you have experienced mine hasn't mine's been great so um, some kind of growing space inside not inside your house if possible, because um, it's just not the right humidity, it's not the right environment for the, the plants to really flourish. So it's worth getting yourself some kind of tiny weeny um, indoor growing space just for these. Bearing in mind, they'll grow to about 45 centimeters tall. So you need something that will be tall enough to, to handle that. So that's the difference with stocks, okay? Now, when they start growing, um, I'll do a video on this later, but you're going to see there's light green ones and dark green ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull out and, and get rid of the light green ones because they are single flowering stocks. And the dark green ones are going to be our double flowering stocks. And they're the ones we want to keep because they're the ones that are perfect for the vase. So I am over sprinkling here because I know kind of half of these, I guess, we're going to get rid of. Um, but um, yeah, so apart from that, sprinkle vermiculite. Um, same as we normally would, make sure you label it. 